Hello, everyone. I'm walking around in my apartment asking myself this question. When the early church fathers collected all the circulation letters and put the New Testament together, making choice and decision of what letters were important. How come there's not one letter written by Timothy in the New Testament? How come there's not one letter written by Tychicus in the New Testament. Tychicus was sent back to Ephesus at Paul's death by Paul. Come there's not any letters in the New Testament by Apollos of Alexandria, who became head bishop at Corinth. We're missing a lot of information that took place after the temple was destroyed in 70 AD in Jerusalem. And at least two or three to six hundred years of the disciples of the new sect called the way to Islam drove them out of Ephesus. What early church father made the decision to stop paying attention to the teachers that taught the disciples and made new disciples of the new sect called the Way from 50 AD to a, at least 150 AD, 100 years. But everything letter-wise in the New Testament seems to stop before the second century, seems to come to a halt or a stop between 70 and 99 A.D. Why? There's got to be one letter out there that Timothy wrote when he became elder and head bishop. There's got to be one letter out there that Tychicus wrote after the death of Paul. Why? Something big is hidden that took place from 70 A.D. to 110 A.D. Give that some thought.